checked. They do have it. They have it in. Good afternoon, may I help you? Hi, uh, do you guys have the Hi. McRib? Yes. Can I get one McRib? And then that'll be it. Four fifty-seven, four twenty. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Okay, what's going on, everybody? Today, we've got a special review, and it's not a review on an item that's new. It's a review of a classic, a classic that everybody knows about a classic that i've never tried before and that i'll be trying for the first time today in this video first i want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel who's been watching my videos who has been supporting this channel and supporting me over the past couple of months starting up this food review channel we have just recently hit 100 subscribers and I really did not expect this day being here this quickly. I've really been enjoying making these videos and I'm glad to see that you guys have enjoyed watching them and so I cannot be more happy or more thankful. So thank you to everybody who subscribed and if you're not subscribed please I really appreciate it you'd hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me and it really helps out the channel. Also while you're at it don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button as again helps promote the video and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And before we get into the video, one more quick update. I've decided I'm going to be changing the name of my channel. I don't really know what I'm going to change it to. I've been thinking about a few different names. Going to probably try a few different names out. But there are too many JPZs out there. And I want to be a little bit more unique and have a name that really stands out. So if you see the name of the channel change a whole bunch over the next couple of weeks, there's your explanation. So without further ado, Let's dive into this video. So what do we have here? Everybody's heard of it. Not everybody's tried it, myself included. But we have the McDonald's McRib. And it is back for like the 20th time or whatever. Like this thing has come and gone more times than I can count, honestly. And every time I've never gone out of my way to try it. But today, in honor of the 100 subscriber special. I'm gonna be trying it. So, this McRib, it was about $4, like four fifty with tax. And uh, smelling it, it smells like McDonald's chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce, which is what I imagine is in this McRib, or like on the McRib, the same barbecue sauce they use for the chicken nuggets. We'll go ahead and open this up. I've gotten mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's pretty good. Other people say it's like disgusting. <laughs> so we're gonna do our own self review. When I open up the box, we see that we've got the bun. Mm, the bun is warm, that's nice. It's warm, it's soft, it's toasted. It's dripping. What, wait, what's dripping off of that? I don't think it's barbecue sauce. It's like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, it's wet. It's dripping, oh! These things, the, um, I don't know if they're sesame seeds or what, but whatever, whatever is seeds are on top of the, <laughs> whatever seeds are on top of the bun is dripping. That's what that is. What do you get? You get, oh, it's bright. You got yourself the meat patty here. You got some onions, some pickles, the barbecue sauce. And I think that's like all that comes on it. Yeah, there's nothing underneath other than more barbecue sauce. I kind of want to spread out the pickles and onions a little bit. They're like all... They're all like crammed together in one area, but all right. Let's see if we can like pick this thing up. Can you guys get a good visual? I'm going to put that under there so it doesn't like, so I don't spill crumbs all over myself and stuff. Oh boy. Dude, I'm getting barbecue sauce like all over my hands. Okay. No. Oh. This thing is so messy. Try a little bit of the sauce. The sauce is very smoky. A little bit of a maple flavor in there. It's like a smoky, it's like a smoky apple. Smoky maple barbecue sauce. Not the biggest fan, honestly. But all right, enough waiting. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this thing. 
Got some nice barbecue sauce there. It's not how I imagined it. In my head and like when I saw the commercials growing up, I imagined it to be like, when I've been into it, it would, I imagined the meat to fall apart the way that like rib meat normally falls apart. You know how when you bite into it and like a piece of the, the rib meat kind of kind of peels off or like peels away and it sort of separates when you bite into it? Yeah, that didn't happen with this. I bit into this and it was kind of rubbery. I felt like I was biting into like one just solid piece of meat, one solid piece of like rubbery meat. Not like I was biting into a rib. So I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I think because I had that expectation of when I bite into this, it's going to feel like I'm like biting into some sort of like, you know, slab of rib meat. And, and that's not, that's not what I got. Just to make sure I'm, I'm not fooling myself. I'm going to try another bite. All right. Here we go. Try another bite. Okay, that second bite was a little bit different. Again, I mean, it didn't it didn't fall apart like I imagine, like you know, a rib would, actual actual rib meat. But I think I know what texture I'm, I'm. I think I know what texture it's it's supposed to be. It's almost like it's like a like an actual McDonald's burger, but just in square form and thicker. Like the meat is just like packed together as if it were a burger rather than you know rib. It's basically like eating a barbecue burger with onions on it, but it's shaped to look like some sort of rib or something some sort of slab of rib. Well, now I know what the McRib tastes like. I can say that I've tried it and I don't have to ever try it again. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you go into buying the McRib with like the right mindset, you might enjoy it. And by that, I mean, don't go into it thinking it's actually gonna... <laughs> don't go into it actually thinking it's gonna taste like ribs. Cause it's not. You're gonna be disappointed. Go into it thinking that it's gonna taste like... If you go into it thinking that you're getting like a McDonald's rectangular burger smothered in barbecue sauce with onions and pickles, then you might somewhat enjoy it. I'll say that. But as far as actually tasting like ribs, I didn't taste anything like ribs. Not at all. <laughs> but okay, I think it's time to wrap this video up. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps the video out with the YouTube algorithm and uh, promoting the channel and everything. Also, if you like the video and you want to see more content like this, please, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I love making these videos and I'm so happy that I've reached 100 subscribers and it's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate all the support and everything, honestly. And if you've ever had the McRib, tell me what you think of it or if you plan on trying it, let me know how you think it tastes. Were you disappointed or did it live up to your expectations? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this McDonald's classic. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.